I'm sure you have read Bible. Yes. But uh, have you read other scriptures like the Quran or the Hindu uh, scripture? The no, I know little bits about them. I feel I ought to now in my old age uh, start reading them a bit because when it came to uh, my own spirituality, once I had found the New Testament, particularly the New Testament, it's all of it very hard to understand. But the New Testament presented me with more than a prophet. Uh, it presented me with a man who claimed to be the divine Son of God. I mean, it's unbelievable what Jesus claimed. He was either, a, he was either good or he was mad and bad. And when I read the story, I'm thinking, he, he doesn't sound mad and he doesn't do things that are bad. So I'm only left with the other one. He is good. Since you, you have so much interest in religion, in God, in Jesus, uh, don't you have interest about other prophets like Moses, like yeah. Muhammad? Do you recognize Muhammad as a prophet, actually? Yes, of course I do. I couldn't condemn the Quran and say, oh, the Bible is the only thing to read. No, because I believe that there are lots of good things written in the Quran. I've, since September 11, we've had more quotes from the Quran here in England. And you think, ah, it's wonderful. And I've heard Islamic people saying, uh, these men that did these terrible things don't represent the Islam that exactly. we know. Exactly. And I say the same about the Crusades. Islam is going through what Christians went through hundreds of years ago when, when British people went. They called them the Crusaders. And in the name of Jesus, they went and they slaughtered people because they said, oh, you are Jewish, Jews, you killed Jesus, so we will kill you. Terrible, terrible things. And now I say, no. I don't believe in that. that. They didn't represent the faith I have. And so I have a great affinity to Islam at the moment because I'm thinking they are going through, the real Islam is going through what we went through when, when people thought that only they had, they had a special privilege to truth. And that's always the danger. When men or women believe that they are the only ones that have all the truth, they become violent, they kill because they think, oh, these people are pagans. And therefore, the good from Islam and the good from Christianity, all the good from all the various philosophies and religions, they are what must join together to fight terrorism. I mean, if there, was, if there were British, if there were English terrorists, I would be the first to condemn them and say, let's us get rid of them. And if we can't get it, we'll get help from others to get rid of them. And that's the only way we're going to do it. We need to somehow join forces so that the true good from what all, all that we believe um, can come together.